In this video tutorial, I am going to share with you tension in band break. Well, this is a tutorial which is totally, you know, focus uh, on numerical point of view or I must say the gate examination. So, if you, if uh, they have asked the question how to find out tension in band break, then we use two formulas only. Because in case of numerical problems, first thing is that you have you need to know formula. If you don't know formula, then what's the use of uh, knowing other things? I mean, then you cannot solve the numerical problem, right? So how to understand about it? I mean, how to get formulas? Of course, you have to remember and you have to practice, right? So we got two questions here. Question one, uh, sorry, two formulas actually we required to find out band break, right? So what are do what are both of them formulas? What are those formulas that is the key to get success in numerical problems or to find out the numerical problem, right? So first formula is torque is equal to T1 minus T2 into R or you can it's uh, this R is radius. Okay, what is it? I will share with you what radius and how to find out how to get this from uh, the numerical. I will definitely share with you. Okay, in the numerical problem because in this video tutorial, I am going to share with you numerical as well as basic concept of it. That's why you got you get some uh, good information about about the tutorial, right? And another. Uh, ratio that is important is three power mu theta, right? So uh, these two things are most important. These two formulas play most important role in case of, I mean, in case of band break. Okay, so I have solved few numerical problems. Those already asked in gate previous year, and uh, definitely if you uh, if you wanted to solve numerical problems, then you can go ahead. But yes, I'm going to share with you that numerical problem in this tutorial only. So what you require basically these two formulas. Well, I have, I have already shared with you about this formula and how to implement this formula because uh, based on this formula, they have asked question in gate previous year. So let me share with you what is basically this is torque. This T1 is uh, tension in the tight side. This T2 is tension on the slack side and R is radius. So here also the same T1, T2 mu is coefficient of friction and theta is angle. So these are all things about this band break and to th these, these are two important formulas of band break, right? So now let's go for uh, that question which question has been asked in previous year, gate previous year. So the question is right now in front of you. I hope you can read it. Okay. So I hope you can read it. Right. <clears throat> so let's go for the question and uh, uh, read the question and of course solve the problem. Right. So in this question we have given a band break having bandwidth of 80 mm. Okay. Drum diameter is this. So I have shared with you what is R basically radius of the drum. Okay. Radius of the drum. So it's radius of drum. I have shared with you that with the question I will share with you what is this radius exactly. So here we got what radius of drum is here. So uh, first of all we have to read the question and uh, with reading we have to write given what we have given in the question right. So a band break having bandwidth of this so we are having bandwidth is 80 so bandwidth let's say W is equal to 80 mm okay and diameter diameter let's say 250 mm therefore we can say radius is 250 by 2 125 mm okay now now coefficient of friction we have given is 0 0.25 and our angle angle of rep is theta is 270 theta what we have given 270 okay so uh, is required is required to exert a friction torque so this torque is given is 1000 newton meter okay this is a torque right they have given 1000 newton meter now maximum tension developed in the band is so we have to find out t1 they have asked us to find out t1 is equal to what we have given all data now I have already shared with you formulas, right? So we know that torque is equal to T1 minus T2 into R. So 
we don't know what is t1 we don't know what is t2 but r we know now look at the unit they have as kilonewton that means they have as in si so we have to change this mm into meter so we have to div uh, divide 125 by 1000 definitely we get 125 meter now multiple this with 125 torque is what we got here torque is 1000 so t1 minus t2 is equal to 1000 by 125 so now we have to use calculator that would be quite good for us yeah so how much we got 8000 newton we got here all right so till now we uh, yeah it should be kilo newton because this one uh, no, yeah newton newton this one is given in uh, newton meter so this is newton that's okay so uh, we got t1 minus t2 is equal to what t1 newton 8000 newton right now therefore therefore we know another equation that is another formula 1 by 2 is it sorry t1 by t2 is equal to e to the power mu theta we know mu is 2 5 theta is 270 but we have to change this into radian so we know that 180 is equal to pi so 1 degree is equal to pi by this much so 270 so i have to multiply this by pi by 180 right we can do this so we have to solve this one let's solve this how much values we are getting 0 0.25 multiple 270 sorry 270 multiple pi division 180 uh, division uh, sorry let's do it again 270 multiple uh, uh, what I am doing 0 0.25 270 multiple pi okay division 180 so we got e to the power 1.178 let's find out it's a uh, uh, e to the e, ka, uh, e power of e answer is 3.202 okay 4 so what we got basically from here t1 by t2 is equal to 3.20 therefore t1 is equal to we can write 3.20 t2 so we got this value from here so what we have to find out we have to find out we have to find out t1 now let's put this value here so what we got t1 is equal to this so we'll put this value here 3.20 t2 minus t2 is equal to 8000 therefore 2.20 t2 is equal to 8000 therefore t2 is equal to 8000 divided by 2.2 so what we got basically here 8002.2 we got here 3.636 uh 3.3 sorry it's not it's comma 3.3636.36 is t2 therefore t1 multiple 3.2 is equal to how much values we are getting basically it's uh, 1163 1163 uh, sorry 1163 6 okay and uh, 0.36 so kilo newton they have asked i have to division this by thousand so we got 11.63 kilo newton so 11.56 is there so this is the nearest value we got so definitely this is the right answer for this question okay so this is how you can solve question related to band break now think uh, i hope you got you, you have understand all this because you know it's it, it has taken a long time and of course we have implemented two formulas now one of the key factor of solving gate problems you definitely will see that in every question almost every question i must say about 80 percent question you will get at least 80 percent question what you have to do you have to at least implement two or three at least two formulas to get the answer so that's what is the uh, real play of this examination that is formulas and uh, how to implement those formulas right way according to the question to get the right answer that is also matter because accuracy play most important role in case of competition examination if minus marking is there 
so try to understand the examination try to understand the question try to understand the formula and try to know and not try and of course you need to know how to implement those formulas right away all right so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye